Hello, I'm our face on Mars. You're not going to believe this one. NASA scientists named Bacteria, Bacterium found on ISS after Abdul Kalam. That's Indian scientists or whatever. A team of scientists at NASA has named a new organism discovered by them after APJ Abdul Kalam, a former president of India. Uh, former president of India, okay. Till date, new life form bacterium has only been found on the ISS, has not been found on Earth. Despite this fact, they're denying that this is an extraterrestrial bacterium. Researchers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California, which works on interplanetary travel, discovered the new bacterium on filters installed on the ISS. They had named it SK to honor the late president who was an aerospace scientist. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, Kellum had his early training at NASA in 1963 before he set up India's first rocket launching facility in the fishing village of Thumba in Kerala. The name of the bacterium is SK, species name after Abdul Kalam, and genus name is Salabacillus, which is a spore forming bacteria, said, oh brother, KV, a senior research scientist in biotechnology and planetary protection group at JPO. I'm not going to try to pronounce names like that because I'll just butcher them anyway. Uh, builder on which the new bug was found remained on board the ISSS, the ISS for 40 months. Called a high efficiency particular arrestance HAPA filter. It's a component of the routine housekeeping and cleaning system. Alright, so it's a HAPA filter. We've all heard of those. This filter was later analyzed at JPL. V published the, his discovery on the International Journal of Systematic and Evolutionary Microbiology this year. According to him, even as it orbits Earth at 400 kilometers altitude, I don't know what that is in real units, my SS is home to many types of bacteria and fungi that cohabit the station when the astronauts live and work there. He yeah, added that even though SK has not been found on Earth, it's really not an extraterrestrial life form either. Oh? Really? Then do tell. This one's pissing me off, alright? Uh, they're saying it's not an ET life form. <laughs> How do you justify that? Where did it come from? If you're saying it's not an ET life form, you're saying it's not from Earth, then where the hell did it come from? I'm reasonably sure it hitched height in the, to the space station on board some cargo and then survived the hostile conditions of space, explained V. Where's your proof? They came from Earth. I mean, you have no proof that it's from Earth because this bug doesn't exist on Earth. Duh! Naming the new microbe after K... Kalam was natural to V and his team. Uh, I'm not going to go on and on with this. Uh, it's like I said, where did this come from? Mars? Maybe? Who knows with this lying bunch of wires? I mean, what am I supposed to think? It's not found on Earth. They find it on the ISS. They tell us it's not extraterrestrial. Doesn't leave me with a lot of options here, folks. Until you people can prove that this thing comes from Earth by finding it in its natural environment on Earth, as far as I'm concerned, it's E.T. More than likely, you know, they think comets have life on them. 
I think how it's spread life. That's the uh, transfermia, panspermia, whatever. Like, oh yeah, it comes from Earth, we just haven't found it on Earth. So it's not E.T., nothing to see here. It's getting mighty deep, folks. I'm going to face Mars. Thanks for watching. Yeah.